So what does uh, Media News Group Interactive do? Um, we're the fourth largest uh, newspaper company in the United States. So you've had some challenges in the area of finding the right database solution and availability for it. Can you tell us a little bit about the solution that you're implementing? Um, currently, we run DB2 on Windows, and in order to accomplish um, the high availability, we use Microsoft Cluster currently. Um, obviously, that poses a problem as far as staying continuously available, um, as well as the disaster recovery aspect. That's a more challenging as well. Um, so we have been in the, the looking for finding a solution that can provide both of those um, at a relatively reasonable cost and still be easy to manage and is still very effective. Okay, good. Um, so tell us about what you've implemented. Um, as of last year, uh, when I was at this conference, uh, I attended a, uh, a lab that a reef um, from Oscoda was presenting um, that went over the grid scale product. Um, that's the product we ended up um, purchasing and we've actually implement, implemented that we'll be going to production um, probably in about two months now, two months more. Okay, good. Um, how's it working out? Uh, you know, all the testing, all the beta testing, it's, it's looked up to uh, the sale. It does exactly what it says. It does it very well. Um, the load balancing feature is a great feature. The ability for us to place um, smaller uh, production servers in the database layer, knowing that in the future we can scale horizontally very easily um, with reasonable costs and not have to outlay a lot of capital expense right now to address our current needs. All right. Um, so what sort of benefits do you see that you'll derive from this solution? Um, the load balancing is a very significant benefit that we're going to gain. Uh, we're a very high read OLTP environment. Um, so that ability to throw three servers and have three servers all serving simultaneously, um, that's a very big benefit for us. Um, another huge benefit for us is the ability to stay up 100% of the time. Um, much like I said, we're using Microsoft Cluster, we still have a small downtime um, when we roll from one server to another. And a lot of the other current solutions that we've looked at, they, they still have that small downtime, as well as not being able to truly pull one server out of the mix and do either server maintenance or application maintenance on the to itself. All right. So what do you think of the combination of uh, DB2 with the Xcodo environment? I think it's a perfect fit. I mean, their implementation of Xcodo, how they built it, um, it's pretty seamless. It's pretty simple to actually put up in front of DB2. Um, the actual install of uh, the Xcodo um, product, as well as like, the, the agents, the connector, and the scheduler, um, it's all fairly straightforward. All right, sounds good. Would you like to add anything, Jonathan? In conjunction with what Ryan said, especially in our industry, we find uh, that certain events happen in different cities where our newspapers have a lot of users, and we see a lot of connections increase, and a lot of people are now getting websites. We're able to quickly bring another server online. Uh, and we'll actually get it caught up pretty quick. Then we'll, and, and just like he said, we can scale horizontally. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you both for um, uh, sharing your insights with us here. Okay.